What is going on, guys? My name is Tubby Emu. I've been getting a lot of questions since the release of WWE 2K14, and the, and the biggest one is, Tubby, is WWE 2K14 worth it? Now, uh, I, I will say this, as a longtime fan of somebody who's going to buy the game anyway, I may be a little biased because I'm going to buy it and play it anyway, but I honestly think, and I, I'm saying this as a guy who, when they announced 30 years of WrestleMania mode, I was disappointed. I really was. I was I was like I want to cuss I wanted like an NXT story mode. I wanted something where you know, it was created story. I didn't want to just, you know, after Attitude Era, I loved Attitude Era. Uh, you know, reliving some of those moments from my past, but it was just matches. And so when they announced, you know, 30 years of WrestleMania mode, I got disappointed. I was like that's all they that's what they're doing really. And I'm like it makes sense because 30 years of WrestleMania. And in hindsight, now I love it. I think it ties in well just like the streak mode ties in well is it perfect no it's just a slobber knocker match and you know just facing taker but the ai in that match is absolutely phenomenal and i would love to see the ai in a future setting um you know just besides the undertaker but you know the other thing is you know people were complaining about the gameplay or the graphics or things like that graphics i understand right their max capacity in this console i don't blame 2k at all uh i'm one of the guys that there are some things that really annoy me that, you know, didn't necessarily, you know, get changed or fixed. I love a lot of the new moves. You know, this is one of those years that they didn't focus on anything really big or new. But what they focused on was updating the gameplay, the animations, things like that, to make it play, feel, and act a lot smoother. So for somebody like me who does WWE simulations, the game is great. For guys who just play, and I'll show you right here. I'm going to try to do this animation here. Let's see if I can do it. You, you may notice kind of clunky things. Uh, the faster striking on some superstars, it looks great. On others, it provides a really weird animation. You know, striking, I'll see if I can do it right here as I get shut down there. Uh, you'll notice it just it looks weird sometimes. But for me, I am so glad they focused on the actual gameplay because nine times out of ten, you know, once that single player mode's over, I don't go back and play it. I keep playing the gameplay. So when everybody was complaining about, you know, universe mode not getting this or something not getting this, I'm like, this is what you're going to be doing all year round. You're going to be doing gameplay. You're going to be doing things like that. And, you know, the additions of the catapult finishers was awesome. I, I thought that was so cool. You know, some of the animations look really weird, and I don't know if they're necessarily accurate. or um, I know I always said with the, uh, the catching finishers, you know, everybody's like, why can't that guy have a catching finisher? I'm like, when's the last time you ever saw that person? Uh, do a catching RK or, you know, a catching move of any sort out of midair. And I kind of had a problem with it, but I was like, you know what? It's fine. You know, I love, you know, oh my God finishers. Catapult finishers, the new oh my God moments. There's three of them. You have the Elimination Chamber, the, the DDT. You got Undertaker's oh my God moment that only him can, only he can do as, oh, jo go to sleep. Well, I should probably pay attention to CM Punk is going to win with the go to sleep. So I'm actually glad they focused on a lot of the smaller stuff. Um, the whole buildup leading up to W2K14 getting released and, and hearing everybody say, you know, lazy ukes, uh, uh, F ukes, they're lazy, they're this, that. And I was like, really? I'm like, are you not paying attention? Like all the new moves that got added, the crossroad, the new um, trouble in paradise, there were so many new things and good things that were added that I honestly think in terms of gameplay-wise, this is the greatest WWE video game of all time. And I know what you guys are going to say. Yeah, but, you know, back in Helen, uh, here comes the pain. And shut your mouth, you could go backstage, and you could do all that other stuff. And I will tell you, as somebody who did, you know, a, a walkthrough of, you know, that story mode, it was awesome. I'm, I'm not doubting that. But one of my biggest things was playing gameplays and you couldn't make a, a super interesting match. I mean, yeah, you could go out and, you know, mess with the tables or in GM mode and, you know, 07 or 08. You could do stuff like that. But as far as really making a dynamic match, the catapults, the oh my gods, the all that makes it one of the best recreation games of all time. And I, I will go to bat for 2K, and I think gameplay-wise, it is probably the greatest game of all time. Now, is it, however, you know, roster-wise... I like I said, I would much rather have all current guys, you know, when there was such a huge roster for uh, Shiny Wizard. When there was such a huge roster announced, you know, because of 30 years, I was a little disappointed. But at the same time, 
I was like, you know what? It, it's better this year. You know, with the attitude era, a lot of those guys I would never use. This year, we get iconic guys. Hulk Hogan. You get the Ric Flairs. You get, you know, the Million Dollar Man, things like that. And, and that, to me, I was like, yeah, that's okay, good. I'm happy now. I would much rather have, you know, those guys than some like the Big Boss Man, you know, guys like that. You know, that's just me personally. I would much rather have an NXT roster. There's a lot of things in this game that, you know, irritate me that they, they could have done better. But the fact that they focused on these gameplay changes, the new moving animations, like, uh, you guys, this is the easy one. This animation right here, I am so grateful for that animation. Um, it's a little harder. You know, you used to be able to just do LTRT. You hold it last year and it would drag them just like that, and it still does. Sometimes I have an issue doing it, and, you know, I'm not too worried about it. But honestly, it, all the small things that are in the game, guys, I say it's worth it, you know. I say you go out and pick it up if you haven't. You know, is it is it the most leaps and bounds improvement over WWE 13? No, I, I don't. I don't think it is like a, a huge mile marker. You know, the next generation in, in video gaming. No, but all these small things that are you know added in make the gameplay experience feel amazing. Now, it, for just the casual fan, is it going to be? Um, Superly noticeable. I think so. I think that you'll you'll have fun. You'll come in and you'll play. Now, some people may have some problems with uh, you know certain moves, and I don't want to really name any off the top of my head right now. But you know, certain things that were either left out or you know kind of neglected, so to speak. Uh, and that'll be a whole another video. But I honestly think this is probably the best uh, wrestling game as far as you know being able to do matches, crazy stuff. Make exciting and watchable entertainment. I think it's the best uh, WWE video game, hands down, in the series. That's my honest opinion. As uh, we're going to see a yes lock right there on CM Punk. Is he going to make him tap? He's crawling for the ropes. He's crawling for it. Ah, CM Punk is almost at the ropes. Is he going to get there? Ah, he got to the ropes, son of a gun. And he's got a comeback moment. How am I supposed to compete with a comeback moment? He's already hit me with two GTSs, and Daniel Bryan's still not going down. Another big kick. Daniel Bryan. He's going to pin me after that. Uh-oh. Rolling out of the way. Way to save face. We're going to float over snap neck breaker. Yeah! And I don't know if you guys can hear this, because I'm pretty sure I have the sound off, but the yes chance, things like that, the the, the Titus O'Neil, who, 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 just, I love it. You know, that's the kind of stuff that I would much rather have than a, a single-player mode that I'm going to play once. That's just my honest opinion. Uh, I, I came in with a, a thought that, you know, 30 years of WrestleMania mode is a rehash. But by doing that, it, I thought it would allow him more time to, you know, upgrade gameplay, the voice animations, things like that. And I honestly thought, I think that those animations that you guys are seeing make it make it the best game. And I would recommend it. I put my seal of approval on it. And I'll have a full review of the, the game eventually. But I just wanted to let you guys know that if, you, if you're on the fence about purchasing it, you've watched me for a long time, you value my opinion, I say go for it. I say um, as far as gameplay goes, it's the best thing that we've had. If you're looking for a story mode or you know something like that, maybe it's not your cup of tea, honestly. But I, I think you're crazy. I honestly... If you don't want to pick up this game, if you think it doesn't look any more improved than WWE 13, I don't know, guys. That's just me. My opinions. You don't have to agree with them, though. If you have a different opinion, let me know in the comment section below. What's your favorite thing about WWE 2K14? What's the, the most hated thing you hate about it? I, I want to know your guys' opinions. Just kind of a live, random commentary, my thoughts on it. And uh, that'll pretty much do it. So until next time, I'm Tubby Emu. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate the support, guys. And way to go, CM Punk, winning at WrestleMania. Daniel Bryan probably should have won because CM Punk's probably on the way out here pretty soon. But it is what it is. And until next time, oh, Superstar Heads. How awesome of an addition is that? Right? We will see you all later.